Hello, Spotans, welcome back. <sighs> So, a few hours ago, Bethesda responded to Mick Gordon's allegations regarding the things he went through creating the Doom Eternal soundtrack. And if I had to summarize this statement in five words or less, I'll definitely say... What the hell is this? A lot of people have been asking me where I stand in this whole situation. And to be completely honest, my friends, I stand with the truth. I want the truth! the truth if Mick Gordon is the one who fucked up fine if Molly Stratton was the one who fucked up then so be it I just want this situation to be over already so that we can focus on what matters to all of us that being playing or creating awesome video games look Bethesda is the parent company of its software and I see absolutely nothing wrong with an employer that being Bethesda defending its employee, that being Mari Stratton. I would do the same thing. Thing is that in releasing this statement, you just made everything worse for everyone else involved, and also for the overall community that has supported this franchise for almost three decades. And I am going to explain why. So, if you think that this statement made by Bethesda was a complete mistake on their part, leave a like on this video. Let's begin. The recent post made by Mick Gordon both mischaracterized and misrepresented the team at its software, the development of Doom Eternal, Maddie Stratton, and Chad Mossholder with a one-sided and unjust account of an irreparable professional relationship. Bruh. It's funny how you conveniently decide to leave out the fact that this statement made by Mick Gordon was a direct response to Maddie's Reddit post made years ago. Also, Bethesda, out of all of the things they could have said in the very first paragraph of their statement, they decided to let everyone know that the relationship between Mick Gordon and all of the parties involved is irreparable. In other words, Mick Gordon is never going to work on Doom again. Mick and Bethesda are completely done, according to Bethesda. And that just makes me sad. Also, of course, Mick's statement is one-sided. It is his point of view of how things played out in development of the soundtrack. Like he stated, he's just exercising his right to defend his image, and there's nothing wrong with that. Let me remind you that all of this began because of this Reddit post. We are aware of all of the details and history in this matter, and unequiv- unequivoc- unequivoc- Fuck! And we support Marty, Chad, and the team at its software. This is funny because Mick shows irrefutable evidence that Bethesda didn't even know what was happening with the OST version of the Collector's Edition for Doom Eternal. Press X to doubt. Also, Bethesda's HQ is based on Maryland, and its software's HQ is based on Dallas, Texas. So it is downright impossible for Bethesda to know all of the details that transpired in development. Again, Again, press X to doubt. We reject the distortion of the truth and selective presentation of incomplete facts. Unless you specifically point out which facts were distorted, then all this is is a completely hollow statement, completely unnecessary to do. What are you doing? Making a mistake. Making a mistake. We stand ready with full and complete documented evidence to disclose in an appropriate venue as needed. What? Look, my family runs a law library business. We make books from scratch for law university students on my city. I am not a lawyer by any means, of course not, but I can tell you that posting evidence of a legal matter online is just fucking stupid. Yet, if the person in question, in this case Marty Stratton, used the internet as an executioner in the form of a Reddit post, then expect the internet to ask for evidence as well. If you live by the sword, then expect to die by the sword. Berserk. Without the evidence to back this up, this is just a 
fucking empty statement. The statements posted online have incited harassment and threats of violence against Mori, Chad and the id software team. Any threats or harassment directed towards members of our teams will be met with swift and appropriate action to protect their health and safety. Like I said, I do not condone any of this fucking shit. If you send death threats to people, whatever the cause, you need to see a psychiatrist, no questions asked. There's something wrong with your brain. Yet, Mick Gordon, as well as Marty Stratton, are not responsible about the behavior of other people on the internet. So trying to blame Mick for the reaction of some people on the internet is just fucking stupid and will receive no accountability on court. Also, let me get this straight. So it's okay when you do it, but not okay when Mick does it? What the fuck kind of logic is that? If you are gonna make this claim, one that states that Mick's actions has incited harassment on some its software employees, then at the very least, make sure that you haven't done the same thing in the past. I cannot believe I'm saying this. This is what we call being a hypocrite. After Morty wrote the Reddit post, I never saw Bethesda, its software, anyone for that matter saying this same thing in behalf of Mick Gordon. I wonder why. It surprises me how they fail to even realize that this same paragraph, according to their logic, can also be applied to the Reddit post made by Marty years ago. God damn it. We remain incredibly proud of its previous collaborations with Mick Gordon and ask that fans refrain from reaching conclusions based on his account and, more importantly, from attacking any of the individuals mentioned on either side, including Marty, Chad or Mick. Finally, something we can agree about. At the end of the day, this is between Mick and Marty. There's absolutely no reason to attack in any way, shape or form the parties involved in this fucking mess. Talking about things that are a complete mess, this whole statement is pure garbage. It was made with the sole reason to save Bethesda some public face and that's it. If you really do have documented evidence to disclose on a legal procedure, then just take it to court. Because as it stands now, Mick showed the receipts and you have not. And in this place called the internet, that's basically a death sentence. Also, this whole statement can be watered down to Bethesda being absolutely salty that Mick did exactly what Marty did years ago. So it's okay when they do it, but not okay when anyone else does it. Bruh. Also, why the fuck would you post this on Twitter of all places? Come on. On. The absolutely best thing Bethesda could have done was to stay quiet. It was that simple. Because as it stands now, this statement should be considered friendly fire. I apologize, but it's the truth. This statement was completely unnecessary. All Bethesda needed to do was to stay quiet, and if they had documented evidence that Mick is lying, they could have just taken it to court silently behind closed doors. But no, they had to make this situation worse for everyone else. God damn it. But anyways, my friends, please let me know what you think about this whole situation. Leave a like if you did, any dislike if you disliked the video. It's fine, I don't care. Well, no, I do care. If you disliked the video, please let me know why did you dislike it down below in the comment section. And well, my friends, have an awesome Thursday. Stay safe, play video games. Adios. Bye.